Notice there's no daylight in between my legs and her shoulder, right? I'm out here trying to finish, see all this space. My knees are pinched together as I turn, all right? My knees are almost touching. So when I'm first setting this up, push, pull, get my leg up there, I'm gonna be real aggressive about getting my leg in, all right? I'm taking the inside of my knee and I'm slamming it right into her neck, all right? You can't be docile about this, all right? If I just set it up there, she's gonna be gone, all right? So I'm gonna be real aggressive about getting that there. This leg behind her neck is the real important one, okay? So as soon as I get this, I'm just gonna grab my shin. I don't even worry about connecting my legs or trying to triangle from here. I'm not in a good position to do that, all right? So I grab my shin, pull it down, cut that angle. Now I'm connecting my legs, all right? My goal is to have her tapping by the time I crush that triangle, all right? I can always readjust and keep tripping if she's not tapping and roll her over even or go for my arm bar, but I don't want to have to do a lot of work, all right? I want her tapping right here as soon as I squeeze that, all right? And notice there's no daylight in between my legs and her shoulder, all right? I'm out here trying to finish, see all this space. My knees are pinched together as I turn, all right? My knees are almost touching, like I'm crushing her head, all right? Uh, one more thing. I'm here, I'm doing my triangle. You see people grab the head and pull it down. All right, we don't really do that in judo. That's not hands. permitted in judo. It's not allowed in the rules yeah. of judo. You'll, you'll get hot Could be a neck crank, could be a neck crank. Yeah, and they're pretty particular about that, so don't do that. It's also just not really a good, efficient way to finish a triangle, all right? I can do it on Michaela because I'm a lot bigger than her, but you get a big guy who's got a big neck, you're not gonna be able to just pull it straight down, all right? This isn't a strong position for me. All right, I'm just going to keep cutting this angle and shrimping all the way around. He's making a good point, everybody, because a lot of people think try to beat with strength. Can you do that again? You cut that angle. You, you form that like L figure, that corner, that angle. See that? Now he, look how he comes and he's going to move all the way to the right in this case. Now he's tightened it up. You know, we always say you make your legs longer from this position. You don't. You're just in a better position. You're tightening up the choke. Uh, from that position. Their and legs are really, really... She's not strong. tapping from here. I can always grab my shin again, move my feet, adjust my knees in tight, and get the finish. And you may need to do that. Don't be afraid to do that. Have the wherewithal down there to do it. And okay. I'm, I'm not at all worried, really, about the position of this inside arm, all right? Some people think you have to bring it across. That's great. I can get an arm bar from here. That's pretty cool. But I don't, think, I don't worry about that if I'm going for a choke, all right? I'm just here, her arm can be wherever, I don't care. I'm gonna finish. Okay, drill some more. Go.